So in the previous video, I showed you how to remove this very strong green tint that we had embedded in our footage. In this video, we're going to take it a step further and I'm going to show you how to make these skin tones pop. Okay, and we're going to do it all under two minutes. So I'm going to start a, a stopwatch and let's go ahead, create a node here and then we're going to create a layer mixer. And uh, since we did a pretty good job balancing our image, our skin tones are already separated from the background. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go under my qualifier and I'm going to get close to her skin and just select this area. I'm going to hit shift H and see how good of a job we're doing. So not bad. All we have to do is I'm going to go under my width and I'm going to reduce that uh, to something like this. And then I'm going to hold it right here. I'm going to go under my saturation and I'm going to close it in to something like this and then I'm going to go under my denoise and I'm going to denoise my key a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of blur and I'm going to come out of it. So now all we have to do here is I'm going to go under my contrast and start adding contrast and look what happens, how much color density we get as soon as we start adding contrast. Then I'm going to take my pivot and go to the left to brighten them up a little bit, keep working on my contrast, okay? And the next step is going to be midtone detail. I'm going to reduce that. I'm going to keep bringing up the skin tones to something like this and just look at how big of a difference we made here. I'm going to take my gamma and I'm going to just add a little bit more red into their skin tones. And yes, it's exaggerated, but that's exactly what I want, okay? And now I'm going to go here and I'm going to use my printer lights again and um, in order to create some separation with the skin tone that, uh, to my background, what I'm going to do is just add one cyan. So plus one cyan, and there you have it. If I do before and after, look at the difference that we made. Yes, it's extreme, and you can split the difference a little bit. Um, <laughs> it got done under two minutes. I'm not cheating. At this point, it's going to be a preference thing, right? So if you go, okay, so after adding the separation, there's just the skin tones are way too strong. Then we can go back to our gamma and we can just remove this, what we just did here. Okay. So now there's no change here. All we did is contrast and pivot and then the midtone detail to even out the skin tones. And if I do before and after, before and after, and this is what we thought looked so good before, but like look at the after. Okay. And then if I go to him, before and after. Yes, once again, it's strong, right? Like it is strong, but that's the look, right? Like anytime you, th anytime you think of um, one of your favorite movies, the looks are really pushed. Remember the, the breakdown that I did on Top Gun and um, the film negative that they use? Like it was so strong. Everything was so separated. So it is going to be like that. Uh, but this is before. And we thought we had come such a long way. Remember, like we started here, we ended up here. But then what I just showed you with quick little moves, we were able to separate our skin tone so much from the background. And we even made the background more steely. I personally feel like it even feels cleaner, although we did take it just a little bit more towards cyan. But it's not over the top. Because over the top would be something like this. That would be over the top, right? So we're not doing that. We're still, we we just added a hint, like almost like a suggestion. But then the rest stayed the same. And uh, we created a lot of separation. Um, and if we play it back, the key is going to hold up. It's not going to break. The key will not break the way I pulled this key. Because again, we did our homework before we pulled our keys, okay? So they're gonna hold up throughout the shot. Like, look at this is a moving image. There's so much going on. The key will not break. And this key will be applied uh, if you have a bunch of different shots within the same scene. So hopefully that was helpful. And guys, if you really are interested in taking your color grading game to the next level, then I highly encourage you to check out my free training. It's a free webinar where no strings attached. You get everything from start to finish. You also get tons of freebies by me. So you get power grades, um, practice footage, something that you guys ask for all the time. So you will get practice footage and you will get some LUTs 
uh, created by me. And all the stuff that I'm going to be covering here is just next, next level. Okay, this should be a masterclass in its own right. You're getting that for free. Link is going to be up top and in the description below. If you're enjoying the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesomeness. And uh, if you have any content suggestions regarding the Quick Tip Tuesday, drop them down below. I will see you guys in the next video.